Congratulations. The whole place is packed. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Selfie. This was, this was really a terrific film. Oh, oh cheers, man. Well, thank, thank you. You, you bet. It was just because it's, I mean, it's a short 90 minutes, but you managed to keep that tension going mm -hmm. through the very end, and that could not have been easy. Oh, well, thank you, man. And I was just curious, how do how you think, how did you manage to pull it off? To be completely honest, I think that uh, what Damien Chazelle put on the script, the way it, it felt when you read it, the only element that I could add to the equation to make sure that it's not distorted, I mean, not the screwing it up, because it works so well on paper that it was like, I know that if I respect that flow, it's gonna work. It's not easy, because uh, it, when you start to put that on the screen, there's a lot of uh, confines that you have to cross, or things that you have to reconsider, but somehow I think that if really the movie works, is because what Damien did, uh, I didn't betray it. Uh, so yes, it's a, it demands a lot of work, and I can take the credit for that. Yeah. But the script, it felt really like, people that have simple, that no is, idea, they that's read definitely it. The, that's definitely the simple answer, because it's, it's yeah. really complicated. It's complicated. Yes. <laughs> but what, but that's, that, that, to me, that's the biggest achievement. But you're absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, uh, it's not like uh, I went against the script. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. It will be like, what is this? I agree. The movie works because in the core, it was working on paper. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you managed to, it just said to the very end, you're kind of wondering what Elijah's looking, looking at. Mm -hmm. At the very end, you don't know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that sort of shows how well you've succeeded in keeping it building. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. And um, Elijah, I mean, your Piano Plays movie is fantastic. Oh, obviously. thanks. And I was just curious, um, how, because I know you played uh, piano as a child. Yes. How advanced do you think you got, and um, how did you manage to pull off playing the piano and talking at the same time? <sighs> God, yeah. uh, those are like the moments of nightmares. Um, well, I mean, I did take lessons from the ages of about 10 to 14, but I, I didn't really keep up with the instrument. So, you know, I got to my, I got to a place where I could play, you know, relatively easy um, sort of Baroque songs, and I was learning whole songs, but, um, but I, I, I got bored with practicing as often kids do, and I stopped playing. Um, but. I definitely had a foundation to draw on. I had the basic knowledge of the instrument. And I think a, a sort of intuitive knowledge of timing and rhythm, that, 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 feels, it, that kind of feels natural to me. I can't always apply it very well to instruments, but that feels comfortable. Mm -hmm. So it was a mixture of all those things and then also working for three weeks with a tutor that got me to the level to which I could, I could start to get my head around how to do it. And the most, like you said, the most complicated thing really we're trying to combine all of those elements at the same time. So playing, listening to the audio track, keeping rhythm, and hearing, you know, John Cusack's voice to then respond. Woo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it's intense. It, it, yeah, it's intense. I mean, it just, I yeah. just I'm, I'm, I'm beside myself. I don't play the piano. I have no idea how you pull it off. It's just great. Thanks. Yeah, and then the sound design of this movie is amazing, really. I mean, I don't say that about many movies. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. That's cool. That's, that's really, really cool. It really plays a big part in this film. It's a hugely important it's element a, yeah. to the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, some people... Well, it's funny you mention it, because uh, to me, um, it's hard to separate, you know, uh, one discipline to another, because I'm a musician, and since day one, my first short film, I was very keen on, on sound design. And, and not as a sound designer, per se. I mean, the sound... I will say that one thing is being a sound engineer this is to figure out how to make something sound the way you want it. And another one is like writing that score in sound design. And I, I like when the sound design and the soundtrack and, and, and the dialogues, they mix together and they yield the step to one thing to another so there's no way you can... Uh, the, the, uh, there's no difference between the subjective and the objective, especially in the second half of the movie. Mm. So what can I say? We we, we work very hard. Uh, James Munoz is the sound des uh, designer, and uh, well, uh, it's the first time that I worked with him. And it's it's true that we have to put together this other script. And I said, well, I think that this is like this. I, I I had a great time collaborating with him. That's awesome. It was something that was really important to him, and something that we talked about a lot when we were making the film, and mm. then also about what was coming up in post production was that. It was like the extra. It was like the last layer to go on to complete the picture, you know, because it, it, it also I think helps with this sort of hallucinatory aspect of what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. 
because so much of what's going on, if you actually kind of just tweak your angle at how you look <laughs> at the film, it could all be happening in his head. And the sound design helps to reinforce some of that too, yes, which is really cool. We saw that before, and then actually, and we never saw that before. I mean, the, the fact that it's maybe it's not only uh, one thing saying that maybe it's in, in your head, but definitely it's through his head. Right. So that, 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 that justifies that the things melt down. Right. And, sorry, you were saying? Well, I was actually listening to clips on the radio today, and I, I'd never s listened to clips without watching the images, so I was actually hearing sounds that I'd never heard before. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's awesome. I want you to play the most flawless concert of your life.